Pai back down the caravan what a difference a few weeks make grass has grown leaves on the trees rhododendrons in bloom I'm down with Trisha and Jim for a bit of wildlife photography a couple of nights and on the way here yesterday we stopped off on the South Downs for a bit of butterfly watching and I'll uh, roll VT We've come to Kithurst Hill on the South Downs. There's a small field over here and it's usually packed with loads of different species of butterflies. Usually get the Duke of Burgundy butterfly here, which is what we hope to see. Maybe a few others. Got cracking views from up here as well. I think Jim's onto one. Green airstreak. Green airstreak. Common blue just settled on that flower. Tina's trying to get involved. Have a look down there, that's where the Duke of Burgundy's usually hang out. This is the Duke of Burgundy hotspot around these small shrubs. comes the brimstone. Whee. It looks like a holly blue because it favours the trees rather than the grassland. And Tina favours the shade. That was a good haul of butterflies. I'll put a list up of all we saw today, saw more than what we expected. And here's one of the reasons I like a micro camper. slept a wink now the bloody birds have started to dawn chorus 
Note to self, don't drink relentless before bedtime. Well, that sounds like a black cap. 20 to 5, wish it <coughs> off. Well, the sun's coming up. I've had zero sleep. I haven't felt like this since the Reading Festival in the 90s. come down to the Seven Sisters and that's the Cuckmere River it's one of the most iconic views in the UK the Coast Guard cottages with the Seven Sisters in the background Just set me moth trap up. Can't see a lot at the moment. I'll give you a proper look at it tomorrow morning, but leave that on overnight and see what moss we can get. Starting to fill up with a few moths and may bugs. And you know, the one's making all the noise. I noticed we had a uh, there was a lobster moth in there earlier. There he is down in that corner there. So this is the moth trap, basically a wooden box with perspex which funnels the moths down to the bottom. They're attracted by this light, it runs off 12 volts so I can plug it into the caravan battery. It's also got a light sensor so it switches off when the sun comes up. And we've got quite a few moths. I can see brimstone pebble hook tip scorched wing buff tip pal tussock and, and a lot of cop chafers and that's the worst place to be chafing 
used to call them Maybugs in the old days. Like right, these ones, they look like a twig that snapped. Another one there. Right, time to get the egg boxes out. You never know what's going to be on the underside either. This one's empty on top, let's see if there's anything underneath. Yes. Get a shot of him. Oh, two together there, I don't know how that happened. Already got a photo of one of those. Let's try this one. Some kind of fawn. I'll have to look that one up in the book. Oh, he's gone. Nothing underneath apart from an ant. Well, that's about it. Just have to let these stragglers out of the box. What's in a bad haul? <clears throat> you get a lot more in the summer, some pretty ones as well. Hi, we're on our way home from the caravan. We're stopping off at a place called Hutchinson's Bank. It's near Croydon actually. And there's Glanville Fertilleries here, which are quite rare. There's only three sites in the UK where you get them. One of them's on the Isle of Wight, but we won't be making that trip anytime soon. So this is our best chance. So hopefully, I'll keep you updated. Success, we found the Glenville Fertillery. Lovely looking oh, butterfly. Yeah. Happy now, don't have to pay for an Isle of Wight ferry. We've had a good day here at Hutchinson Bank. It's the first time we've ever seen a Glanville Fertillery. So we're quite happy. And we're going to head off home now. And we'll see you next time. Bye.